Eric Cameron here, registered physiotherapist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about some exercises you can do to strengthen the muscles that cross the wrist joint in a safe manner in which the, the wrist is in a neutral position. But before I continue, please hit that subscribe button below so you'll be notified about any new videos that I put on my uh, site here. So essentially what I want to show you is something referred to as an isometric contraction of the wrist. And so with the wrist, we've got several different uh, tendons that are called that cross the wrist joint from your forearm. So your, your forearm flexors and extensors. And what's great about doing these isometrics is you're not actually moving the wrist in any sort of position. So for some individuals, right, they might find that, especially if the wrist is somewhat hypermobile or is sensitive, right, in a certain position, that if they go into end range, that it causes them pain. Um, and then also in evaluating uh, their strength, we might find that, hey, you know what, there's some weaknesses here. So we want to try to stabilize the wrist joint in a position that doesn't necessarily cause discomfort or pain. And so this is where isometric contractions can be really helpful. So essentially this, the way that this is going to work is we're going to work in four different directions. One with uh, wrist extension, it's called, which would be this position flexion, which is uh, going the opposite way, radial and ulnar deviation, which are these movements. So essentially what you would do is, let's say my, my right arm is affected or my right wrist is affected, I'm gonna place my left hand on top of it and I'm gently gonna push up against it, right? So I'm going to, and I can also alter, by the way, the intensity of this depending on my discomfort or pain, right? So um, I would push up, hold for a second or two, and then relax. Again, pushing up hold and relax and then I can switch now I'm working on isometric wrist flexion I can go up into this would be referred to as radial deviation pushing up and then ulnar deviation which is pushing down so again a great way to strengthen these muscles uh, that cross the wrist joint without creating discomfort going to end range uh, and and it's a very safe uh, exercise to do Please make sure to check with a physiotherapist to make sure that this is appropriate for you. And thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Take care.